Okay, so I finally got my hands on one of these uh, Samsung Series 3 Chromebooks. And a couple of months ago, I reviewed the Series 5. Um, I thought this time, though, rather than do a review of the machine, uh, I, I would start going through some of the uh, Chrome web apps that um, you'll probably want to become familiar with if you um, plan on replacing your traditional operating system with a Chromebook. So in order to do that, um, I needed to figure out how to do a screen cast or, or capture the screen uh, on a Chromebook. Uh, on my PC or on a Mac, I can use um, Screencast-O-Matic, and that works really well. Uh, but that does not work on a Chromebook as, a, as of right now. So I'm logged into my YouTube channel, and I'm going to click Upload. You need to have a Google Plus account, and you may need to do an additional authentication step as well in order to do this. So right here it says Google Plus Hangout, and I'm going to click Broadcast. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here. I'm going to disable this microphone and this camera because I'm not using um, the microphone and the camera on the computer right now. Uh, I need to give my Hangout a name. I'm going to call it uh, Test of Screen Cast. Okay, there's a little checkbox here that says Enable Hangouts on Air. You want to have that checked. And I'm going to click Hangout. Alright, so what I'm going to do before I click Start Broadcast is I'm going to come over here. There's a little icon on the left that says Screen Share. I'm going to click that, and then I have to respond yes to it. I don't know if you can see, but down here uh, where you normally see the video in a chat, uh, or a hangout rather, you see uh, a small version of my screen. Now I'm going to click Start Broadcast. And I'm going to say OK. Gives us a 10 second countdown. Okay, so right now we're we're streaming live to uh, my YouTube channel. So if anyone's on my channel right now, they may see this. And what I thought I'd do is just quickly um, open up an application, uh, and I'll review this application in a little more detail down the road, uh, but not in this video. This is Pixlr, and it's uh, it's like a Photoshop or GIMP um, type of a program, image editing. Okay, so there is one drawback to using, um, you know, a Google Plus Hangout and streaming to your YouTube channel for screen uh, capture purposes, especially when you're talking about web apps. And that is that, um, obviously, streaming live to YouTube is using up bandwidth. And these programs, um, especially the higher end programs such as uh, Pixlr and WeVideo, require some bandwidth um, to operate smoothly. Uh, so you can see here, I've got a a logo up and I thought I would try to beautify this thing a little bit make it look better and I just want to show you that right now this program is laggy uh, and it's in part because um, I'm actually streaming to YouTube so it's going to be a little bit difficult with my rural internet connection to do these kinds of uh, screen captures and expect them to be smooth so let's see here I don't know if you can see that how laggy that is I have like a, a one megabit upload internet connection, DSL. All right, I think that looks much better already. I think I'll save that. Okay, so you can either save to the actual hard drive or you can go to your Flickr, your Picasa. Um, I'll say okay to that. And you can also save to your Google Drive space as well. You know, if I want to save this for future enjoyment. Okay, you can see that it's taking a while to save and that's because I'm chewing up all my bandwidth with my screencast. Alright, I'm just going to come in here, I'm going to click End Broadcast. Let's go back to my YouTube channel. Um, in the past, I've noticed that it takes, you know, um, you know, almost a minute or so sometimes before the video actually shows up in your video manager. 
And there it is. Hopefully that was helpful, um, and I look forward to doing maybe some more of these types of uh, reviews of actual Chrome um, apps in the future. Thank you very much. Leave questions and comments below.